Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1, GV, Whiskey, 1, Good, Vibrations at your service, to just show you a very simple vertical dipole antenna idea. If you happen to live or have your bedroom on the second story of a house, or maybe even the third story, depending on how big this tree is, and uh, some distance from the house, a big tree, and I mean 50, 60, 70 foot tall, maybe even taller than that. Some of the maples in northern Wisconsin would serve as an excellent example of a big tree, uh, but uh, there are plenty of other examples. A sturdy tree, a solid tree with a branch protruding out horizontally from which you can dangle at least 40 feet, preferably 50 feet or more, of rope, wire, whatever you want to dangle from it. And you construct a vertical dipole shown just exactly like I drew it here fed with ladder line, preferably ladder line, although the so-called window line may also work. It's open wire line. I was afraid I'd write widow line. It's, a, it's an open wire line, low loss. The heights should be equal on each half of the antenna. That is, it's a center-fed antenna the lengths are not important, or the heights are not particularly important. It doesn't have to be resonant on any particular band, but obviously the taller you can make it, the lower the frequencies you'll manage to make this thing work. This uh, here is non-conducting rope or string or wire. If you, you can use wire, but you need good insulators at either end of the dipole and a good solid anchoring in the ground so that the thing doesn't pull up out of the ground when the wind blows. Uh, it's, you may want to put a spring here and here if this tree is prone to sway in the wind or if you live in a zone where winds get high quite often. This is just basically the geometrical arrangement. You need a transmatch I recommend those true uh, balanced antenna transmatch tuners made by a company called Palstar. They're all American made and they work. I have one and they're very good transmatches. So you've got your good old, it looks kind of old, doesn't it? Kind of kind of big radio. 75A4 a receiver and a KWM2 transmitter, if you're old enough to remember what those were. A big old transmatch, like one of those old Viking transmatches that handled a kilowatt. Or, uh, well, Palstar, even better. Something that'll handle the power if you want to run high power. I don't recommend it. Open wire line. Very important. Not ribbon line like TV ribbon and definitely not coaxial cable, but open wire line, a perpendicular feed. That is to say the height of the open wire line should be exactly height half the height of the entire antenna assembly so that you get a 90 degree angle there. Of course it's not going to be drawn perfectly taut, but you may want to add some kind of a little string or something between the feed point and the tree to keep the, and the feed line from pulling the antenna into a V-shape. Once you've done that, pray that you don't have a huge windstorm and get on the air and see how it works. I can pretty much guarantee it'll work you some DX, especially on 10, 12, uh, 15, 17, and 20 meters. Stan Jibalisco W1GV, 
Whiskey One Good Vibrations signing off, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long, which in my native fists, two of them, I can do it with either the left or the right hand or both at the same time. So long for now. Good night. Hope I made some sense.